All right, well on the bench today, we got our muzzle loader kit from last week. Remember we put on the butt plate and the toe plate and then inlet the lock. So this week, we're gonna install the rear thimble, front thimble, our barrel tenons, and then pin them in place. So at the end of this, we should have um, our barrel actually mounted in the stock. To get started with the rear thimble, I uh, had to take down some material here. Um, you're going to actually remove the material from the thimble and not the stock in order to get it to fit in. Let's see here. Let's get it to fit as good as we can. All right, you can see it's down in there. I'll have to remove some of the stock here. And we're in the finishing process, but. As far as the gap around the outside, this one fits pretty well. We'll take that down. So the next step is to, uh, we're gonna clamp this in place and then I'm gonna drill through the stock into the top part of the thimble so that that doesn't happen and it falls out. In order to do that, we've gotta find center in our barrel channel. Okay. So I've measured up a couple inches from the back of the inletting, actually two and a half inches, um, from the back of the inletting where this thimble, the rear thimble is gonna go, okay? So that fits under there like that. And uh, so I measured up two and a half inches and made my mark. And I need to find center of this bottom barrel facet because remember we have an octagonal barrel, so. The center of this is where I will drill my hole that will uh, drill into this and then we'll tap it with the screw and that will hold this thimble in place. So we'll measure the inside of that bottom facet, 390, half of 390 is doing math on camera, 195. Hundred ninety-five thousandths, close enough. All right, let's lock that off, and I'll scribe a line. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to see that. I'll just use a pencil. So on that side of the line, right? Yeah, all that measuring down to the thousandths and then <laughs> scribble a pencil line that's like 10 thou thick. Okay, now we're gonna clamp the thimble into place, come back and drill it. So I'm gonna get all mounted up in the vise. All right, you can see we're set up in the vise with the thimble clamped in place. I'm gonna go ahead and drill out our mark and uh, we wanna remember to stop before we go clear through the bottom of the thimble, okay? Just through the top part. Okay, so I don't have a countersink, I thought I did. Next best thing is just to get the uh, larger drill bit that is the size of the screw head and that you're trying to countersink and ever so carefully um, drill yourself a, a hole that will act as a countersink. And it's not pretty. I wouldn't do this if we were gonna see it, but this would be covered by the barrel, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, with the screw in and countersunk, it's into the thimble, but if we can see, the screw protrudes through the thimble, so we're gonna have to remove some of that. Best way to do that is to uh, thread it into another piece of wood or a piece of metal and take take it down with a file. All right, now with our screw installed and countersunk, I'm gonna look down the, uh, very hard to see from this vantage point, but the uh, screw is flush with the inside of the thimble. You can see that dark circle, that's actually the screw. So it's not protruding, it's just dead flush as I am gonna be able to get it. And the uh, 
<clears throat> the ramrod is able to go in and out of there without hanging up on it. So that's the main purpose of that. All right. Well, I need to get a better camera set up so you don't have to watch this on the shaky cam. But for here, you can see these are our barrel tenons. And you can see that they're dovetailed or flared there at the bottom. They slide into these dovetails that were already cut by traditions. All right, we've got the front. This is the muzzle here and the back and over here. Uh, you want to drift these with the uh, with the barrel upside down and the muzzle facing away from you, you're going to go right to left with these. Problem is, they're not finished perfectly. So I'm going to have to take a, a needle file and get in there and remove a little material. What these are, if you don't know, these barrel tenons need to fit snugly on the center line of the barrel and they will go down into the stock and then we're gonna drill through the side of the stock and then through these tenons and run a pin through them. And that pin is actually gonna hold the barrel in the stock, okay? So that is the plan. Uh, I'm gonna have to remove some material and I will show you that when I'm done. All right, well, that took way longer than expected. Um, the barrel wouldn't seat to the back, so I had to do some more inletting and um, I'll show you here, move the barrel. And you can see that I had, uh, ignore this stuff, that's just for me getting it in and out. But basically the contact was on these two parts of the stock and I had to remove quite a bit of material. Uh, but we got it in there now and it looks good. So the next step in all this is to measure from the top of the barrel, which is going to be sticking out of the stock, right as it's uh, as the as the barrel is seated. So this is the top because these are the trunnions that go inside the stock, and I need to measure from the top to the center of the trunnion. And this has to be exact because we're going to transfer that measurement over to the side of the stocks and then drill through, through the side of the stock, through the trunnion and out the other side of the stock so that we can put our pins in there, trunnion pins uh, and hold the barrel in place. So this is pretty critical. Screw it up, you can fix it. There are ways, but it's never gonna look right. So i um, not gonna film actually doing it. I'll show you when I'm done. So I've got my mark laid out for under that X is the uh, center of the barrel trunnion, the rear barrel trunnion, and up here is the forward barrel trunnion. And what I'm gonna do now is um, measure the thickness of these pins with my calipers and then get the appropriate drill bit, right? And drill my hole. And there's no going back after that. All right, so to demonstrate that, um, <clears throat> our pins are coming in at 119 thou, and this drill bit, closest one I got, 119.5. Now that'll be perfectly fine. So, um, next step is to drill. All right, well, we drilled through both sides, front and back, and you're gonna have to trust me, there's a pin in there. Um, it doesn't go all the way through, but you can tell because the barrel isn't falling out of the stock. So we're going to call that a success. I, I don't like how it looks. I'm probably going to end up finding some uh, brass uh, washers to kind of hide that. But we'll see how it goes as we continue on. All right. Well, that's the front thimble done. And it's uh, countersunk on there nice and tight and uh, I did have to trim that screw in order to get the um, thimble uh, to get the screw flush with the thimble so that the ramrod can go in and out I guess I could show you that and into the rear you know 
so we're getting there got the i had to pull the uh um pins the barrel pins out in order to finish this thimble which is fine still got to finish the stock still got to finish the barrel got a lot of work left to do but uh that's it for week two well week five of the class and part two of the muzzle loader lab all right keep following along if you're into it i hope this is helping this is my submission for the assignment and uh yeah We'll get her cleaned up and it should be looking good when we're done.